Hello everyone, and welcome to Scratch Forum Replies. Today, we have Dark Cyclone, who writes, I have this clicker game that involves the sprite you click having multiple upgrades. Unlike the rest of them, however, if you have more than enough money to buy multiple upgrades at once, the game will do that and skip previous upgrades. Does anyone know the answer to this problem? Game Link. This actually took me a little while to understand what the question was asking as I was playing the game. It took me a while to figure out what the question was trying to say. So this is a normal clicker game where you can click on this slime here and you can see your money here goes up as you click it. And in the instructions it says that you can say space for automatic. So I can hold space down and that clicks it automatically, which is much easier than clicking on the mouse. And these other gray boxes here are upgrades that you can do. So this one here costs 50, 50 money, and it makes one money per half second. So click it, it turns on. You can see money going up. What I didn't understand at first about the question was that this uh, slime here does not seem to have any upgrades. The next upgrades are this one and this one and didn't look like there was any more upgrades. It turns out that there are upgrades, you just can't see them yet. So the fastest way to debug this that I found was to convert this money display, uh, variable display into a called slider and actually change the slider range to allow huge amount of money all at once and we can issue ourselves a really large amount of money and from there you can see that as you click these they actually still some of them actually still do have upgrades some of them do and, and some of them don't <laughs> i think i think this one is the main one that, that i saw multiple so let's start the game over and see what happens when you have a small amount of money, hard to control now, this got a single upgrade, but if we look through the code, you can see that, smaller here, if you look through the code, you can see that there's different sections, different event handlers that say when the sprite is clicked. Here it says if costume name is costume 3, which is wrong sprite, or that we're on the right sprite when we're looking at the code. So these are all initialization. When flag clicked, you should check out my video on making a tower defense game for discussing how this may potentially um, have some race conditions depending on what the code does. I didn't look at it too carefully. But here there's different event blocks that say when the sprite is clicked. So when you click it once or press the space key, money goes up and the, there's a little animation here that increases the size or decreases the size a little bit and then increases it again back to where, where, where it was before. But when you uh, click the sprite there's also the other when, when the sprite click event handlers and what they do is say if costume number is one and if you look at the costumes these are the different levels of the sprite. So like, they might just increase. Happy face gets. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> the happy face gets smilier as it levels up. So it goes to Z and X and B e and V. I'd be curious what that means because I maybe some something that I don't not aware of. But if the costume number is one, that's this one over here. Then you switch to costume Z. It's labeled Z, X, B, and V. So this is the first upgrade here, and it costs you, uh, yes, negative 299 money units. And the next one here is if you're on cost of two, and then it costs you a thousand. The next one is ten thousand, and the next one is fifty thousand. So what original dark what dark dark cyclone is asking is why does more than one of these upgrades run at the same time. 
So potentially test that out now that we know the prices of things. This is 299 plus another thousand. We set this to uh, 2000. Then that's enough to buy these first two upgrades and switch the costume to X here instead of to Z. And uh, we should not get a E if we have 2000 money. Oh, there's all money, and you can see that costume. So I suspect that this is actually um, going to be a race condition. I was playing around with this the other day. I think I have a live stream video on this. I can't remember. And um, it, it actually seems to depend on which order you drag these when the sprite click block into your code area, which one is going to run first. But what is probably happening here is that the um, the uh, number one to two upgrade or one to Z upgrade is happening first when the sprite is clicked. But every time you click the sprite, it doesn't just run this block, it runs every single event handler that is uh, handling this event. So this code will run and also this code will run and, and all of these other event handler blocks will all run and it's not totally clear which order they'll happen in. So I'm actually curious if we detach this and if we detach this, if my other experiments were correct and I understood them correctly and I swap these, I take this uh, sprite click block and drag it up here and take this one and drag it down here. Um, what I found the previous time would say that actually this uh, behavior will no longer exist, that this one will run first and um, it will actually then uh, not currently be costume number two because it, it starts out it starts out the game as costume number one. So, so this will be false, none of this will run, you won't lose a thousand dollars. And then this one will run and costume number is one and it'll switch to costume Z. So if my hypothesis here is right, then we'll give ourselves two thousand dollars like before and we'll click and we should get costume Z and we'll see if I'm right. Indeed that's what happened. So what's happening here is that this when the sprite clicked block handler is actually getting run first before this one. And there's not really any way that I can tell to tell them apart. It just happens to be how this is stored internally. And I don't know for sure if it's guaranteed that this one's always going to run first. But from the experiments, the limited ex experiments I've done so far, that seems to be the case. Um, and obviously there's no way that you could possibly tell which of these handler blocks is going to run first, just looking at them. They look exactly the same. You can run a, uh, a shell game and swap them around and, and you'd have no idea. But if we swap them back, then presumably we'll have the same issue again where it switches all the way down. So the way to, to handle this, and I would recommend my tower defense um, game series playlist if you're interested more in this topic because I go into much more detail about it would be rather than having all these different when these sprite click blocks uh, I would I would actually get rid of them get rid of them. Die. Die, die 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 get rid of all these blocks uh, different one these are these are different so I, I think all of the upgrades are here and what you would do now is you want to make sure that <clears throat> you didn't run all of these in order because you'd have the same problem. So let's say we checked for costume one first and then did the upgrade and then we checked for costume two. Well, we just ran the upgrade. So the costume is now two. Start with costume one and we can walk through this. Start with costume one here. Do the upgrade to costume Z, which um, one thing you might do actually that, that may make the code um, a little bit more consistent is to, to pick either the costume number, one, two, three, four, five, or uh, the letter and stick with that. Um, right now you're using the number here and the letter here. So you switch this to name and use the letter here, or you can actually um, drag an kind of expression in here. You've actually played with this that much. Change which costume I, I do think you can drag a number 
into into this block editor. In any case, if you put the uh, blocks in this order, then it will have the same problem. So we can actually take that out. Give ourselves two thousand money. Click it, and indeed it switches. Um, oh, that was interesting. It switches to Z. Uh, oh, and then it says stop the script. So actually, this would work because you have this stop the script block. Um, however, you don't actually need this. Which it's always good to get rid of code. It makes your code easier to easier to read. Uh, and what you would do instead is you'd say if the costume number is currently one, then you check if you have enough money. Yet. And this else block isn't, isn't even doing anything. We could even simplify this if money thing is this. This is where block program is a little bit hard. You're dragging things around to be able to grab them. So if this is true, then change the money by negative 299 and broadcast them. I don't know what that did, does. And then else, meaning that it was not the case that the costume number was one. It was not the case that uh, it was on the, the first level here, meaning that's on a, a higher level, then we want to check to see what level it is. Now let's check the costume number two. And you can do a similar thing here where you change this, this else box not used down here. Maybe do that like this. You do that in here just to get rid of this else. So if costume number is equal to two, it's already at the second level. Then uh, check to see if you have enough money and switch to level three. So let's test it out. It's always good to keep testing your code as you're making changes, or else you're not sure which change was the one that was broken. Start again and issue ourselves some 3,000 money and we'll click and hopefully if this is working then we expect that the costume number will be uh, the costume name will be Z instead of X like it was before and indeed that is the case and if we click again then it upgrades to X. Now that we click again there are no more upgrades in here because we detached this code and we could quickly actually just say hook it all up I will ignore this empty else block here, even though it's unsightly and a little bit confusing because it's hard to tell which of these else blocks we want. It's actually this one. And then we'll hook up this one here, like that. And so now we would need, what is this, 50,000 50, plus 10,000 is 60,000, 61,000. Let's call that 62,000 money. 62,000 money in order to buy all of the upgrades. So let's give ourselves all of that money. We'll click once and it switches to Z. And we'll click it again and it switches to X. And we'll click it again and it switches to C. And we'll click it again and it switches to the V with the cool shades. And so uh, Dark Cyclone, hopefully that is what you were asking because I um, I, th I think that is what you were looking for. It seems to match what you're saying. And hope this was helpful. And if you found this interesting, or helpful, or even just want to help out, please click the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. And thank you for watching and see you next time.